Hi, today we're going to unbox the DVDO Air 3. Well, first of all, what's an Air 3? Air 3 is a wireless AV extender that's a great alternative to running a long HDMI cable. Air 3 uses 60 gigahertz radio frequency that offers great performance. It can transmit 1080p 60, 3D, HD surround audio, and it also supports MHL. At 60 gigahertz, you won't get any interference from like a Wi-Fi network or from appliance that emits radio frequency. Um, also at 60 gigahertz, you're not going to get any um, signal delay, really virtually no latency, so it's fantastic for video gaming. Let's open it up. And the first thing you see is the user guide. And let's continue unboxing. And you'll see two module. Okay. One is the transmitter and the other is receiver. You can tell which one is transmitter because transmitter always have the um, DVDO logo. It's also labeled on the back which one is the transmitter and receiver. Okay. This is the accessory box that comes with it. So these modules require power. We've got a USB power for the receiver. We have an AC to DC power adapter for the transmitter. Comes with two HDMI cables, a USB cord for that power supply, and mounting hardware. There you have it. That's the content of DVDO Air 3. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the DVDO Air 3. I've got here the transmitter. The transmitter connects to a source device. And the source device I have here is Blu-ray. On the back transmitter, there's an HDMI port. Simply connect the HDMI cable into this my port. Okay. And connect the power. And there you go. That's how you connect the transmitter to the Blu-ray. Next, we're going to install the DVDO Air 3 receiver to the TV. We've got the receiver here. First thing we're going to do is connect the HDMI cable. Next, we're going to connect the power supply. Now, the receiver comes with a USB power supply. But some TV, um, TVs have a USB port and you can use that to power the receiver as well. And it goes into this micro USB port here. As soon as I connect the power to receiver, this link light will start flashing. That's when the transmitter and receiver, they're trying to pair up. As soon as they're paired and linked, that light becomes stable and you should be able to see an image on your screen. So let's connect the power. and you see the link light is flashing and it's come solid and stable and you have transmission and image on your TV and there you have it that's how you install the DVDO Air 3